In this tutorial, we're going to look at one of my favorite tools within Maya, um, which is the uh, multi cut tool. Um, so I'm just going to go into shading and just put this on wireframe and shade it for a second so you can see what we do. <clears throat> There's a couple of ways I can get to my multi cut tool. I uh, can go to the mesh tools and go to my multi cut and do it in my modeling toolkit, multi cut. We can. Um, <clears throat> Where are we? Is it on that one? Uh, it's on that one. There we go. Shift right click over the object and we have multi cut there as well. Um, or Control Shift and X is the shortcut, um, which brings it on. So lots of different ways to go in. I've got this on the modeling toolkit just so we can see some of the options as well. Um, so the first thing we can do with a multi-cut tool, we just go in and we can cut between verts or edges or faces. So we can actually go in and start cutting straight into a polygon. Okay. Oops. Got edge flow clicked on. If we are getting any weird things, it's probably because it's not set to the defaults. So here you can just go in and kind of create these points. And um, although we may be creating some awful end gons, like actually here, just here, um, you can just go around cutting as you want. So great tool for that. Okay. Um, we can cut between points that we can't see, so I could cut from, say, that point to this point, and what it's going to do is going to use the camera position, or the viewport position, to get this. So if I drag this down, it should be going through the line like that. Okay. If I have that viewport up, then you see we get a different effect depending where the view is. So another thing we can do is we can use uh, some of our keyboard shortcuts. So if I press, if I go to a line or an edge, press shift, uh, it's going to put a point in the middle of that line. So I want to click exactly through there and then to that point. We can get that perfect. Okay. If I was to do another one and press shift, it would go now to the middle of this edge. That's another useful thing we can do with it. Um, we can put in also edge loops and ring loops. So if I just press Control down and go over one of the vertical edges, you can see we can um, add in some edge loops. And do it on this one, we can add in more edge loops really quickly by left clicking. If I I actually have that in and I press control down to get the edge loop and press shift down. What this is going to do is snap uh, to certain points along the edge and that is denoted by this step, uh, this snap step here, so this is 10%. So if we was to take that to say 25, then what's going to give us is going to give us a 50%, it's going to give us 25. So 25, 50, 75 and then we'd have 100 on there. Uh, so if you want to cut exact points through an edge, you can do it that way. Okay. That's uh, that amount of 10. If I do want to get perfect, you can see when I'm going, even though I've got control and shift pressed down, I might not get perfectly 100%. I can do here because I've got this edge, uh, this grid point to snap to as reference. Um, but what I can also do is just press control down and just middle press with the mouse or press with the middle mouse button. So anywhere I do that, that's going to give us a cut straight in the middle. Okay, so that's control and middle mouse button. Okay. We can also slice through an object. Um, so with my multi cut on, if I just drag from outside, if I press shift down, I get kind of increment snapping of this. Press shift straight, we get into degrees, and then I can cut through. And again, this is based on the viewport. So if you do want to get straight lines, if you just go into another view. Put a 
through that way. Okay, then I've got perfect cuts. If I do it on this one, and just drag outside, and just press, um, make sure I've got the multi-cut tool. Drag, press shift to get a straight line, and then we have a perfect cut down there as well. Okay. So, really handy. We can do that. Uh, we also have a similar effect with this. Press escape. Um, which we can use the slice along plane as well. So here we get like a YZ plane or um, the ZX. And if we want to cut through this, we can just move this point. Size this out, and then we get a cut in that. Okay. We have different axes there. Just make sure I am clicking on this. There we go. Move it up. And we can set points in there. Okay. So that's another way to do it if you want a very specific uh, line across or a cut across. Okay. Some of the other features we have just involve really topology. So exactly the same kind of things. I have just a strange edge through here. Let me just get rid of this for a second. Okay, so same tool. Press control down, we can have our edge loops or our ring loops. I can just go in and cut. Uh, press enter to finish Africa, by the way, before you start a new one. But I also have these edge flow um, options and the subdivision option. So if I was to, to put a cut through this, it would do it. But it wouldn't look at the edge flow itself. So if I do this, I'm just going to my modeling toolkit again edge flow on and let's do this again I know if you notice that it pushed that vert out let me do this again if you look that's a straight line what it does is it tries to retain the edge flow of this line here okay so that's quite handy if we have the subdivisions increased then what this will do it will put a new edge in and again I still have edge flow on that so it will follow along with the edge flow but what it's also going to do is subdivide each one of those edges into another vert. So if we we're um, making this more complex going into another area, so it was an arm going into a shoulder um, or a wrist going into a hand, we might want to increase the the count, the polygon count on that, and that's an easy way to do that. Okay. Um, we obviously wouldn't want to leave it at that because we've got engons, um, but that can be a quick way to do it. Okay, so just undo that. That is one of the one things I would suggest you just keep an eye on. Um, have that switched down to one majority of the time unless you need anything else the final things just on this tool it's just control backspace that to get rid of the edges and the verts so we do have these options as well here so the ignore back faces delete faces and extract faces um, ignore back faces it's just going to ignore the faces that we can't see I cut across there, you see it's ignoring the faces that we couldn't see in the viewport. Generally have that switched on. Delete faces, what we can do is we can go in and we could say um, get a certain part of this and it will delete anything pointing up from that line. You see when you drag this out you have this little um, arrow of direction pointing upwards from this and anything above that will delete. Okay. I drag that the other way, that's going. So it depends what where you drag it from as to where that line is. Okay. So you could get very specific points of an object if you wanted to. Click that off. So the extract faces does a similar kind of thing, but it keeps the faces rather than deleting them. So if we did that and then we did something like that. We have those points now. 
that we could actually use. And I don't know if these are extracted as individual objects. No, but we could grab these. And then if we wanted them as separate objects, we could just go in and extract those. Okay, and if we wanted to use that within a model, we could do. So um, that is the multi-cut tool, an absolutely fantastic tool and a real time saver.